Hello there, my name is Nesqualo and I'm bringing you this cryptocurrency update. Now, Bitcoin, literally, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god, well, in this video I really want to share my current outlook and what the hell is going on with my short trade that I mentioned the other day and uh, what is the current scenario and my action plan and just in general, uh, what, how to deal with these kinds of moments because these are the realest Bitcoin and trading moments in general. So all of that in this video, please smash up the like button and uh, also hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you're notified when I make a new upload. And without any further ado, let's just get into this pain right now. So, uh, we all know that I was actually in a long trade in this area right here. And then obviously when we are say, uh, seeing a powerful push going downward and actually breaking a uh, very key support, uh, we cannot just hold our long trade with the hopes that it's not going to go down to $35,000. So it's just insanity. So we either have to close our long trade or close the long trade and get into a short trade just in case we're gonna see another big impulse, another big dump in Bitcoin. So for that reason, this is all we can do as traders and all we can do is react. You know, we had a lot of good trades in the past and uh, sometimes there are just these moments that just don't work out and whatever it is that you're doing, nothing works out. So that's absolutely fine. And I mean, this is just the reality, right? So, and I am the most honest crypto and trading YouTuber in general. So make some noise for me down in the comments for showing you just the way it is and just in all honesty. And the thing is, but, you know, before you celebrate the Thomas got wrecked, whatever, let me explain exactly uh, what I'm seeing here. And before uh, we do any of it, down in the description of this video, there is a link to my trading competition that is that has a $50,000 price pool. So go into the pinned comment or down into the description of this video and register. It's free. And uh, uh, the registration is going to close very soon and the trading is going to start and the top winner is going to take insane cash prizes. Once again, $50,000 price pool. And also the top winner is also going to take a guaranteed seat at Crawler Trading Show season two so enjoy that and i'll see you at the trading competition and best of luck now uh in this instance right here actually this so basically what we are seeing right now is if we're gonna go to the daily chart we're gonna see that this turned out to be a short squeeze right so this turned out to be a fake out now uh let's go back to yesterday's video so that you don't scream at me in the comments as some of you like to do which is fine i understand that sometimes things can be confusing but just for a brief moment let's go back to the previous video and see what i said at the end of that video enjoy yeah, so this would be my target, right? So if it reverses real quick, again, I will actually again flip bullish. So again, close the trade with, for example, a zero loss or whatever, a small loss, if that's going to be necessary. And then if we're going to see a huge bounce, and the reason I'm telling you this, and that's why I'm telling you always watch my videos from the beginning till the end, I showed you this piece of on-chain data. See, and this is, these numbers simply don't lie, right? So in this instance, and all the big whales are still buying in right now, and I showed you this before that whales are all... Uh, accumulating again and everything is not looking really that bad as this small break down so what I'm thinking and this is the most important part of this video is that this could be a simple short squeeze so certainly I've taken a short trade on it just to protect myself and my portfolio but I think it could turn out to be and I'm emphasizing it could turn out to be a short squeeze and we could see a quick bounce back above so I actually did say that this I'm expecting this to turn into possibly into a short squeeze just because of out of all these things that we've been discussing on this YouTube channel that uh, the actual outlook for Bitcoin is not really that bad and I'm really not seeing prices really push that hard down. But the reason why I've taken this short trade right here when we saw this incredible break downwards uh, was simply to protect my portfolio. So for me, it was more of a uh, hedge trade uh, to protect my portfolio, a portion of my portfolio, because my portfolio is far bigger than $200,000, but nonetheless. So this is the main reason why I've taken the short trade. And also in yesterday's video, I mentioned that when we were actually right here, 
I said that if you want and if this is a short term trade for you that you can take at least partial profits right there. So I did actually mention this. So if you haven't taken uh, your profits and if you haven't listened to me that this could that potentially turn out to be a fake out, which actually would be a good thing for Bitcoin. That's something we're going to talk about right now. Then there is really nothing else I can do. And this is a clear example, guys, girls, in all honesty, please always watch my YouTube videos, each single one as they come out and watch them from the beginning and until the end, because I, can, I, I, I see it in the comments that most people are clueless. And for what reason is that? It, it's for the reason that they either are not watching every single video or they are simply not watching the whole video. They watch half of it, open a long trade and then whatever. And then they're confused. So if you want to get any value out of this, watch a single video from the beginning till the end. And also I did post in my free Telegram channel that I am uh, considering to close my trade right now in this area at the break even. So and yes, I did close this short trade. Well, I, there was actually to be all, in all honesty, there was some slippage. So I closed it with a $300 loss right in this year, right here as we were pushing back above. So I didn't really lose any money on this. I mean, $300 is still money, but compared to the profits we were taking here in the last trade, we had the good one was $33,000 in profit. So losing $300 here, $500 there, making $100 there. It's like, I mean, just dancing around the zero. So that's proper risk and money management. So always use proper risk and money management and never hope for anything. So, and for that reason, uh, go down in the description of this video and join my free Telegram channel. Uh, so that you're always notified because uh, when the market is on the move and something is happening like this move right here, it can happen incredibly fast like this candle right here. So and that's where I, I posted either on Twitter and follow me on Twitter, just verified account and do it like right now, pause the video and follow me there. And also the Telegram channel, join it, please. This is imperative and very important so that you are always notified when the market is on the move and when I'm doing something pronto because I cannot create a video each single when the Bitcoin makes a move. And remember that there are always two possibilities and right now in Bitcoin and this is very important to understand that we were at this turning point for Bitcoin that here either we are breaking down or we're bouncing off of it. So there's always two possibilities that are incredibly difficult to predict. So for that reason, I'm always giving two scenarios and I'm not just saying oh, either long or short. I'm always explaining which structure if we're going to break with what kind of volume, where, why, how. And that's how you can react. If this happens, you can long. If this happens, you should be shorting, etc. So I'm always explaining it in details. And if you think that uh, in all honesty, if you think that I'm always saying either long or short, then you're not paying attention to what I'm saying in these videos or you just have no understanding of trading uh, to actually be able to comprehend the logic behind what I'm saying. And um, uh, just by the way, if you want to be trading yourself actively, then look no further than Bybit. And with my exclusive link down in the description of this video, you'll get up to $4,100 in free bonuses on top of your initial deposit and zero maker trading fees. So that's incredible. And also a discount on commissions and fees in general and the withdrawal fees as well. So enjoy that bonus. So as for right now, what is my current outlook? Let's take a look at a smaller time frame and let's see what's happened because we are seeing a very big pump right here, which obviously was a fake out and uh, we are currently facing resistance. So we broke this one at ease and now we are facing resistance right here at this level right here. So this is the level that actually was mentioned previously and we had a lot of resistance from it. This downward slope, it was a support before now it's resistance. So we really need to break it to actually say that, okay, we can actually uh, have a target of 44,700. So this is a very interesting moment. And this could also be an interesting point for a long trade, because again, we're still in this fight uh, within, so to speak. So if we're going to mark it just in a very simple way, right here, just like that. So I'm thinking that you can, of course, do something, you know, more specific like this, which is a bit more complicated. But I would just guess this there is no if you're going to market like this, there's going to be not very much proximity to the more important level that actually uh, the price got rejected from right here. So if we're going to be breaking uh, through this level, so I would say through $41,000, uh, this would be an interesting opportunity for a long trade. And yes, Guys and girls, don't scream at me in the comments. But yes, I'm considering to get into a long trade because my risk and money management still permits me to do so because the previous trade was a complete break even. This trade with a fake out with a potential short squeeze actually became a uh, 
minus three hundred dollar trade. So I mean, it's like nothing. It's peanuts. Uh, you know, I mean, peanuts in terms of the sizes that I'm trading with. So and uh, in general, what I'm seeing here is actually really bullish, to be honest. Unless we again do something unpredictable, which again the market can do at any time, because this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing, and I've done very well for myself in general. And uh, remember that if you're doing even thirty to forty, tra uh, th uh, thirty to forty uh, percent success rates in your trades, you're going to be making good money as a trader. So for that reason, you can never expect that anyone anywhere is going to always tell you the best setups because the market in the short term perspective is super difficult to predict is just is chaotic and is just predicting the smallest frequencies in the markets. And that's why you know, active trading is so damn complicated, even for me who has eight years of active trading experience. So yeah, but in general, what we are seeing currently is absolutely incredible, in my opinion, and we're gonna and actually, if we're gonna go to the volume, we're also gonna see some volume right here. So that's uh, this kind of a rejection is volume supported. So we really want to see what's gonna happen. But I'm pretty positive that this could be a very interesting uh, breakout a break about 41,000 with actually a target of later on 40 for 700 dollars So this is what I'm currently looking out for. And yes, I'm considering to take one more long trade. And if that one doesn't play out, then I'm gonna just uh, stay away and look for a better setup. Because sometimes the market, you know, it can give you the best setups for you as a trader, and it can just become choppy like this for I don't know, a few weeks. And those who cannot control themselves and keep trading and don't use proper risk and money management with different um, lenses, so to speak, when looking at their trading, then they actually lose a lot of money in this process, even if they have taken these nice trades right here before and uh, made some money. So it's, it's not just about being able to make money as a trader in the markets. It's also about being able to not lose that money in the markets as a trader. So this is the current situation. Yes, uh, our long trade in this area was a break even. This um, uh, short trade, which was more for me again, as more as a hedge against the potential uh, downside of Bitcoin currently, which turned out to be I paid the $300 premium on it. And right now, uh, if we're going to be and I'm actually really happy about it. This is another thing, guys and girls. I'm really happy that this turned out to be a short squeeze. Of course, I mean, $300 loss is money, whatever. But uh, I have a lot of Bitcoin. So this move from 38.5 to 41,000 made uh, I mean, I made uh, a lot of money here. I mean, not, not made, but it made a big difference for me in terms of my Bitcoin holding and the appreciation of Bitcoin that I have. So I'm really happy about this here. So certainly, if we're going to turn out to be a nice, uh, again, following the same pattern right here as a bounce uh, with a nice short squeeze, like a classy, classical short squeeze, and that's again what I mentioned in a previous video, then we can see some real nice upside in the coming days for Bitcoin. So and this is what I'm looking out for. Uh, please do let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And please, I beg you, always watch my videos from the beginning till the end and as soon as they come out. And so that you're notified, join my Telegram channel. It's free and you're always alerted when the market is on the move. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and love. Time scroll. Stay smart, stay rich. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.